Today I'm going to be giving you some tips on how you can instantly improve your balance on your paddleboard. I'm not a paddleboard instructor but I've been doing it for probably about 10 years now so I'd like to think I've got a few knowledge bombs I can drop to some other people. So yeah, take a pinch of salt. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you buy the right paddleboard for you. They're all different sizes, different lengths, different widths, different volumes. Generally, the bigger and heavier you are, the bigger paddleboard you want. And bigger the paddleboard, generally speaking, better the balance. But this can sometimes compromise speed and maneuverability. Make sure your paddleboard's pumped up to the correct PSI. The flatter it is, the bigger sort of U shape your paddleboard will be in the water. Less surface area, contact with water, more unstable you're gonna be. Science bit. Still nice and dirty from my sea paddle the other day. This paddleboard is recommended to inflate to 14 psi, so guess how much we're going to put in it. There you go. Also, if you know balancing is not your strong point or you're new to the sport, choose your conditions and your location wisely. Nice slow flowing river like this. It's going to be a lot easier to balance than a choppy sea or something like that. So rivers, lakes, easier. Seas more difficult. Windier the day, the more choppy it's going to be. So all those points are things you can take into consideration before you've even actually stepped on your board. And when you do step on your board, the first thing you've got to think about is positioning. Pretty much all paddle boards are going to have a carry point in the centre of the board. Um, so that's going to be where you're going to want to have your feet over. If you stand too close to the front, your tail's going to be in the air. If you stand too close to the back, your nose is going to be in the air. You want to have as much of the paddleboard in contact with the water, because it's just going to improve your stability. A couple of these branches obviously got snapped off during the storm. Let's give this one a little helping hand, shall we? This could knock me off as well, but... Oh, I'm scared. Ah, I'm scared. <gasps> what on earth is that stuck on? I had visions of that dragging me in. <laughs> Next one is centre of gravity. The lower your centre of gravity, the more stable you're going to be. So if you haven't mastered stand-up paddleboarding, Nothing wrong with a bit of kneel down paddleboarding. Straight over the handle. Good way to practice, get started, build up confidence before you're ready to stand. If you are trying to stand up for the first time, just build up a bit of momentum on your knees. Easier to stand up whilst you're moving. Just gives you a little bit more stability. A bit like riding a bike. The width of your stance is also going to make a difference. The wider your stance is, the more balanced you'll be. So yeah, shoulders width apart. Wider the better really. I could probably even go a little bit wider. But yeah, it's just going to give you a little bit more control compared to if you're like this it's going to make you very unbalanced just because your base of support isn't very wide same if you're practicing on your knees it's going to be a lot easier if your knees are nice and wide it's going to give you a bit more control a bit more lean rather than if they're pressed together like that do you reckon he's got the climb on and the climb off let's have a little look shall we this could go bad this could go very bad oh he's in Right, how strong is this? It's gonna hold my way if I climb on. I think it'll be alright. Oh baby! Ah, oh, see for miles. It's got a little bit of a bounce to it. Ooh. Right, now to get back on the board. That's where these long legs come in mighty handy. Ta da! Also, it's worth getting to know the wobble of your board. Know how far you can go before you need to correct it before you're a goner. And also gives you a chance as well to get used to it moving. If you do come across like a boat wake or any ripples or anything like that. Now this one's probably the most unnatural tip of them all. If you do start wobbling and lose your balance, our usual automatic reaction is, you know, wave our arms and do that. Bring gain our balance, that's what we've been doing our whole life I've been walking. But the first thing you want to do if you lose your balance on a paddleboard is stick your paddle in the water. 
that then gives you like a, a point of reference to actually use to stabilize your body. Right, getting closer and closer to dead and now, so I think I'm gonna spin it around here. E-brake turn. Whoa! <laughs> Nearly went. So yeah, a couple of little balance tips I find really helpful on paddleboarding. If you've got any other tips, stick them in the comments, share the love. But before we finish, there's one more tip I wanna give everyone. Just don't be scared of falling in. If you're scared of falling in, you're not gonna enjoy it. And the best way to overcome that fear of falling in is just to take an early dunk. If you don't like the cold, don't do it in the winter. Make sure you're prepared, got like life jacket, wetsuit, all that sort of stuff on. So it's come to that time of the video where I've got to take my own words of advice and not be scared of falling in. And a life tip, have fun, stay young, baby. Woo. Come on then. <sighs> Plenty deep enough. Don't be scared to fall in the water. Woohoo! Woo. That is cold. Oh, blimey. Don't be scared to fall in the water. Woohoo! That is cold. Oh, blimey. Oh, oh. Blimey. That was cold. Like and bloody subscribe. Ew! Oh yeah, baby. Oh.